Hello, my name is Jennifer McDonald and I'm the Silicon Product Manager for Endevco. We are here at our facility in sunny Irvine, California to test our new Model 770 Series DC accelerometer. Today we will use our Model 770 Series accelerometer to determine the G-level a car experiences when it goes over a railroad track. The challenge is to obtain the peak data from each of the four tracks. To do this, we use double-sided tape to attach the low-cost accelerometer onto the roof of a 2018 Dodge Challenger. The cable is duct taped to the roof and connected to a high-speed data logger inside the vehicle. The camera is mounted outside, centered on the windshield. We are in the car now, and with a bit of luck, we will catch this light. Soon you will see road markings indicating that we are closing in on the rail crossing. Here it comes. Expect some shaking of the camera as we cross the tracks. Back at our lab, we crunch the numbers to see the results. The red graph is the output from the 770 accelerometer attached to the vehicle. The blue line simulates the data that one might see from a less accurate accelerometer, like the one in your cell phone. The initial peak is identified, but because of noise and response time, the second peak is underestimated and the other two missed entirely. We met our goal. Reading from left to right, the peaks on the graph correspond to each of the tracks contacted by the vehicle. Each track impact was significantly higher than the readings prior to and after the set of tracks. We were surprised that these peaks are higher than one would experience in a severe earthquake. Our 770 series DC accelerometer creates the opportunity for a wide range of measurements that might not otherwise be taken. Because it is small and lightweight and can be adhesively mounted, it's easy to install and later easy to remove. The fast response time and excellent resolution means it can recover from one shock to quickly make the next measurement as demonstrated in our railroad track experiment. 